Hi, this is Nick back with another Fallout 4 settlement tour. Today's tour is the uh, Coastal Cottage settlement. And with this settlement, what I did was I set it up to be a boot camp. And it is in the Jane Doe World playthrough. So, if there's anything that you see here that I did that you liked and want to know how I did it, have questions concerning anything in general, or notice things that I did to this boot camp that would be wrong for a boot camp, go ahead and leave a comment below and I will take them under advisement and add and subtract and multiply and do all the things that need to be done to make it a viable boot camp. So, with this boot camp as well, we uh, are non-dominational so you can send anybody here that you want gunners could come here to train brotherhood of steel minutemen railroad if there were any could all send their people here to be trained we got our commons area out here where you know you have your regular just getting assigned push-ups doing your thing getting ready to run the track all that kind of thing um, back there we'll show you once I get back around um, we'll come in here because when you first enlist you have to come into your recruitment center where you've got your recruiter that'll be sitting here and then you're gonna be sitting right there while he does all of his spill and they get you signed up and then you'd be taken from there you'd be taken out here to our classroom areas where you would be taught all the things that you need to know to be a well-adjusted citizen we got bookcases full of extra books so you can be learned citizens and all of the desks have their own book in them and all the desks have their own chairs you've got a pretty decent view to look out when you're not paying attention to the instructor giving his lessons we've got a chalkboard for him to you know write out the lessons on and we've got posters and educational material through here right over here we've got the restrooms where we've got a full shower in there and that's you know me tinkering around trying to make the best I can cuz there's not one we uh, got a sink and mirror we've got posters indicating keep yourselves clean we got our kitchen through here which is stocked up to the gills with anything that you may need and a dish rag if you need to clean your face or dishes we got a clock because all kitchens need a clock and with this settlement here I tried to use the conduits as much as possible so uh, there isn't any wires really hanging out and around there's a few but they're for an essential purposes right through here we've got our tech room which is you know got a computer in it and a couple desks and you know our educational literature we've got our cafeteria here that's got you know some stuff for food services and we've got chairs and another really good looking view out over the coast we'll uh, go this way and drop right down their stairs to our officer quarters slash haircutting centaur where we've got people who are waiting they can read a paper and the guy that's crying can be crying while he's getting his hair cut. And we got, you know, posters around for your artistic values. Right in here, we've got our officer quarters. Oh, I'm forgetting the basement. Right down here, we've got our basement, which there's not a lot going on down here. Here's my chuck. That's supposed to be upstairs in the classroom. I learned something while doing this build that you can, you know, drop your items and pick them up like I'm going to do right here with the rolled up newspaper. But the problem with that ends up being if you fast travel enough times here, it's going to drop through the floor and you'll find it in your basement. What you got to do is you got to come into your builder, pick it up that way, and then set it there. From what it looks like, it'll actually stay there, except when you knock them down, for the most part. 
right in here we've got a utility room and it's just got your utility stuff in it it's uh, logic gated in there so if you go in there and shut the door it can become also kind of a safe room you know things get too crazy whatever now in these quarters you've got a chair you've got a table you've got your beds and you've got your foot locker that has all of the things that you need um, I'm still working on getting materials, but like the fluffy pillows aren't on the beds because you can't place them through the one thing and they'll drop through. So, they're in the foot locker. And yeah, I think I, I still need some pillows, so. And then we're going to go ahead and run the track. This is the kind of makeshift track I made. You can go boom, 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 boom. And if you want, you can turn back that way and keep going, but we're going to continue on the tour. I've got these great stairs that I made. We're starting to get a little bit into the evening time, so I'm going to have to hurry this tour up. We've got our railway door that lets us into the barracks which there you are for when they're not being you know drilled and then you've got your workout area with some other posters got the barracks for the grunts themselves and all of their foot lockers and like I said all of the stuff that they'll be wearing is going to be in the foot locker plus plus them pillows and that's the upstairs now to show you the uh, back area where we keep our armories and all of our other things. Right back here we've got the firing range so you can test out your firing capabilities. And then yeah, you've got any guns that you can desire to fire off there. We'll uh, go through here because I put that stuff there to keep the two places separate. Got our hot box to teach delinquents lessons. Now this is the armory. And there are two switches to open the door. You've got your basic switch that it just opens the door and turns on the light. And then you've got your alarm switch which will sound the alarm and then do all the things and for some reason the lights didn't turn on but whatever but yeah that's how we do that and you've got all of your guns in there you've got all your armors in there and you've got your bullets in there you've also got you know, more weapons in there, and you've got all this throughout here. So we're going to go back outside, and we're going to turn off the siren. And we're going to take a quick break here while I get some settlers up in here and make it a boot camp. And we are back with settlers. Now, one thing I didn't show everybody real quick that I do want to show off is when you flip the siren... The door opens and I did fix the light, but also you do have a preflow of guns across that back wall. You've got everybody getting ready. All armed oh, up. You gotta take you gotta take one day one day time. I did also mm, have to add a bar here because everybody that was gathering in the barracks Nobody on that bottom to level. You do something to help? And then also there is my power that's running through the entire complex. I can't remember through the conduits and I think in here did I have to no nope. uh this one maybe no I know I did it over here though yes so to keep the power so it was still running I put a conduit above the or I put a uh, jobby above the conduit so it had a thing to plug into <laughs> and we will go turn that off and we will end the tour that was everything alrighty just one more thing I wanted to show off before we ended the tour itself 
When I did put these bunk beds together, I guess I didn't pay close enough attention to them that uh, some people sleep the wrong way in them. But, you know, as long as you pay attention to that, you can get them right. But I also think that it's adds a little bit of realism to it because I could totally see somebody doing that. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.